Chapter 14 and verse 1, mm -hmm. pursue love, that's what he's been talking about, Yes. and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, mm -hmm. especially that you may prophesy, something like that. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, for one who speaks in a tongue uh, speaks not to men but to God, for no one understands him, mm -hmm. but he utters mysteries in the mm -hmm. Spirit. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to the people for their upbuilding, mm -hmm. encouragement, and consolation. Yes. Verse 4. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Mm -hmm. well, now I want you all to speak in tongues, yes. but even more to prophesy. Yes. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues. Unless someone interprets mm -hmm. so that the church may be built up. Edify right. is the old uh, word, I guess. That's right. So, yes, uh, that's very clear, isn't it? He's not in favor of a continuously hidden mm -hmm. gift of languages. Yes, yeah. I'm using the word languages as many translations do, because that's really what it is. However, Absolutely. in Acts, clearly you didn't need an interpreter. Mm -hmm. That difference mm -hmm. exists. I think the language idea is, is common to both passages. I don't think these are ecstatic mm -hmm. utterances, you know, as distinct from real languages. Yes. yes. They're spiritually driven mm -hmm. miracle languages. Surely. But they yeah. do need interpretation, at least Surely. for those whose yeah. language it happens not to be. Yeah. I think uh, we know in, in the book of Acts uh, instances in which we have mm. speaking in tongues, which is speaking in languages, yes. that oh, are yes. quite clear. Yes. That interpretation was not always needful because no. the, the speaking was Clearly. two people who knew the language Whose languages being spoken. as well. That's quite yeah. genax too. So yeah. Yeah. the idea that it was a miracle of hearing, we need to to bury no. that one. No, that's yeah. not right. It, was, yeah. it clearly says they began to speak forth yes. languages. Absolutely. And then those audiences yeah. heard them speak mm -hmm. in their native right. tongues. Yeah. And that's absolutely yeah. clear. So yeah. we don't want to spoil all that by yes. saying, well, this is really a miracle of hearing. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was a miracle of speaking. That identified the apostles, mm -hmm. by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's God saying, here's where I'm at work, yes. right? Absolutely. Otherwise, you transfer the whole miracle yes. to the crowds who yes. came to keep the feast. That's, that's right. not going to be right. Yeah, which, which doesn't wrong. make sense. Uh, I like the 13th verse of this chapter. Over the years, we've used that a lot. He says, let the one who has this gift, mm -hmm. if that's your gift, pray that you or somebody with the companion gift of, of translation, yes, right? Yes, right. Pray that you can interpret. Right. So as far as I can understand, there's no such thing as a permanently untranslated mm -hmm. language. Yeah. You may have it in the closet yeah. if that's your gift. Yeah. However, Paul is no friend of unintelligibility. Yeah. He wants everybody to be yeah. sure, including yourself, right. that this is a message from God Something and that we all need to hear. Yeah, surely. Then it's a valid That's thing. Right. That's right. I like that. So uh, <clears throat> uh, I think that um, the one who prophesies is greater than the one who, not as yes. a person, but yes. their gift or abilities. Yes. Unless they it, interpret. Unless someone interprets. I love so that. The so church. then the language becomes at, right. at a level with prophecy. Exactly. Provided yeah. it is interpreted Surely. publicly, and and then that would be the 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 real fruition yes. of what we would hope That's to be exactly seen right. accomplished in speaking in tongues. That's right. Uh, and though he doesn't say, and I reserve to say this, he doesn't say that someone has sinned if they speak in tongues privately no. and even no. don't interpret. But they should, I think, want to interpret. They should yes. want to seek to know. Even yes. if it's privately, yes. you would want to know what God was saying. Well, exactly right. So that's, it's, that's it's even exactly. better. Now, there may be much more of this going on genuinely than we even recognize. Well, that's true. I mean, who that's knows right. uh, how much is said in the Spirit Surely. in various churches. Well, they may not claim all of these things, sure. but God may well be speaking mm -hmm. through people mm -hmm. in a very direct way. Surely. That's right. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, verse 6, Now, mm. brothers... Uh, if I come to you speaking in tongues, yes. how will I benefit you unless yes. I bring you some revelation or knowledge yes, or prophecy right. or teaching? It okay. doesn't doesn't help you. No. I mean, you know, I guess in a very limited sense, you could say, well, I, God is yes. blessing you yes. with this ability. Yes. But the the picture at that point would be 
to be made complete, we need to know what, sure. what it is. Otherwise, it's rather selfish, isn't yes. it? Well, I'm feeling good, you know, I'm yeah. talking to God <laughs> with my language gifts. That's right. That's but wait right. a minute, all the Absolutely. gifts belong Surely. to the church. Absolutely. Why not? And uh, So good. that should be the goal. In it's the goal. Well, otherwise the leg would be functioning without the rest of the sure. body. Surely, surely. You? You've yeah. got so-and-so gifts. Yeah. It's not a, a single solo thing. Yeah. It all is supposed to sure. benefit the entire Absolutely. group of the Absolutely. people who don't have the same gift sure. as you. Sure. They still yeah. should get the benefit of your gift. Absolutely. And so if we have a brother or a sister mm. who believes that they have the ability yes. to speak in yes. tongues, first of all, recognize that yes. it is a language. Of course. It has meaning, significance. Then we might encourage them and say, well, then great, that's wonderful. Have you prayed? about the possibility of interpreting That's exactly that. right. That's um, the uh, 13th verse. Of or at least have you right. sought out someone who has the ability to tell us what that means. That's wonderful. And, uh, then that would be great. I love okay. it. 13th verse, worth before we even get to it. Anyone who speaks in another language should pray to be able to translate what they say. Well, that's, there it is. that's easy enough. That's the direction. But that often doesn't happen. Yes. You know. We're, and so we're missing the point, yes. I think. Yeah. Yes. That, uh, I know in... Uh, in my background, sometimes there was the idea of two different tongues. There is yes. the initial tongues yes. that you would receive initially yes, when right. you believe. Or the when initial you, evidence, so, yes. And then there's another yes. tongue that not everybody yes. has, but everyone speaks in the initial it's kind difficult. of tongues, but not the other. Yes. That's not what Paul is saying. I don't think here. so. So we're saying, well, there's actually two different kinds of tongues. I don't think yeah. that's a biblical no. picture. You know, no, I, I don't think so. I think it, it, it people fear sometimes. They say, "Well, if if these things haven't ceased, then they're afraid. They're afraid to deal." That's right. But I think remember that it's God who and Christ who administer right. Right. such things. Yeah. We can trust them. Yeah. Let them handle these things. Very understandably, and I don't blame them. They said, "Oh, now we can go to China." And oh, preach yes, the gospel yes, in yes, Chinese, yes, yes. and they went, and it didn't work. It didn't happen. They had uh, misunderstood right. the purpose. Right, exactly. Isn't that wonderful? Exactly, and uh, and and that is actually, I think, so in Acts as well. You keep in mind that you have this wonderful miracle in mm -hmm. Acts two. Yes, there is this speaking in tongues that got the attention of people. Absolutely, and some wonderfully things were said. But that's not the way the preaching occurred. Exactly right. The, the, the main speaker was yes, Peter, Peter, and he didn't speak in tongues to all no, these no. people so that they could uh, hear absolutely. And, and as you say, there's wonderful. no indication they were all having no, a no. miracle of hearing. No, no. So no, none at all. Peter spoke to all of those in, people. No doubt in Aramaic, in, Hebrew, Greek would have yes, been a lingua franca. Whatever it may have been. Uh, sure. Of course. Yeah. That's a very yeah. important distinction. Yeah. So there's absolutely. people who got the gift as they thought. Yes. It didn't work. Yeah. They all came Not home. for that purpose. Not for that right. purpose. Yeah. They still had That's to right. use an interpreter right. or go through the tedious right. process of learning right. Chinese. Yes. And we yes. still to this day do. Yeah. We have yeah. to translate right. our materials of into course. these languages. Absolutely. And yes. so speaking in tongues was never intended by God no, as to fill that role no, and, uh, not. That, that we can say. That, so uh, I'll accept the miracle, but I do want to be sure that it really is. The yeah, we'd like to understand that, that. even I'll though in instances here in Corinth, yeah. uh, as Paul is laying it out, mm -hmm. they didn't always know what language was being spoken. No. They, and if they no. had, it, then the whole thing about interpretation of course, problem. Be, there's always right. going to be somebody yeah. there who knows what it is. So I think the point yes. is they don't know, they don't, uh, you know, no, and so we need can. an interpreter. That's why you have a companion. Sure. It's a separate gift, by the way. Right. Gift and uh, by the way, I was thinking uh, the, uh, I think the King James mm. added to the confusion of this Good passage point. a lot Good by point. choosing to translate yes. languages or tongues as languages. unknown I'm so tongues. glad you mentioned that. Uh, yeah. We've gone on record with that. I'm so glad, because <laughs> yeah. that is very tendentious. It's yeah. very misleading. No, yes. not unknown tongues. Yes. Uh, st uh, uh, new, new languages, yes. certainly. We do have that in Acts, sure. but not unknown yeah. languages. Yeah. And that's uh, not right. That's right. Some uh, they they mm. actually the word unknown was yeah. unnecessary. There. It, well, it's, it's just, just wrong. It's just yeah, wrong. Yeah, it's misleading. Yeah, it's right. uh, they might be they were unknown certainly to the people who didn't understand those sure. languages. Yeah. But that is oh, yeah. that's helping you to well, get misunderstanding yes, by adding right. that word. I think unknown, uh, right. they uh, the right. King James folks uh, yes. brought havoc into the matter they more. Did, or they did that. Led right. to yeah. more confusion yes. about that. 
But uh, yeah. but something that's unknown yeah. is unknown until yeah, it's course. translated. Of so course. again, the importance right. of a translation. Or yes. And it's kind done. of like, hey, remember mm. uh, Daniel and mm. the writing on the wall? Yes. yes. So we have these words on the wall. Yes. It was unknown until... It was translated, translated or of interpreted. Course it then was. Now we know what that That's message right. was. Yes, yes. Yes. People sometimes will say, well, when you, when you go to Korea, do you, do you speak to them in Korea? Yes, I, yes. <laughs> th th I don't blame them, but they have no idea. I'd have to live there 15 mm -hmm. years at least to get anywhere near the sort of fluency we exactly. enjoy in our own language. Exactly. Right? That's so right. thank the Lord yes. for the talent of interpreters yeah. who learn to yeah. do all that yeah. too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we, we wouldn't want our viewers to misunderstand saying we're just against speaking no, no, tongues. No. We want to understand it Absolutely. rightly and we would like to see it working in ways that's exactly. edifying yes. to, the, to yes. the folks and people. And the other and that's not always the case. Yes, right. Why certainly. is the concept always on yeah. that one? Yes, 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 yes. What about the person with the gifts of healing, that's plural, right. oh, my land, the yes. gift of miracles? What yes, is that? I like I mean, that. I like uh, that that yes. would be very practical and Absolutely. useful in view of sickness which we see all around us. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah. Okay, we got carried away with all that. Oh, we did, but... Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, brethren, if I come to you speaking in tongues, how will I benefit you unless I bring you some mm -hmm. revelation or knowledge or prophecy or teaching? Mm -hmm. Verse That's 7, good, if even lifeless instruments, mm -hmm. such as the flute or the harp, mm -hmm. do not give distinct notes, how will anyone know what is played? They, they wouldn't know what the meaning or significance of it is. Nice you couldn't enjoy it, right? No, you can't discern a tune that That's is right. tuneless. That's right. One note. <laughs> That's right. In fact, in the band, uh, the piece you wind band I was playing last night, there's a, there's a piece we're playing where it requires the boatswain, boatswain in England, boatswain's whistle on a ship, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. And it, it just goes whoo, you know like that but there's no tune there yeah that's right but it's a musical instrument it's, of some sort it's interjected yeah. for an effect and for an effect right. right that's right yes um verse eight and if the bugle gives an indistinct sound yes who will get ready for battle with it that that nice thing? picture yeah. Right. yeah yeah so the again this would be the disadvantage yes. of of uh, having uh, speaking in tongues and not knowing What's what is being, being said, said, yeah. And, uh, Paul covers this so well. He does it lovely, doesn't he? It's great. <laughs> yes, but, uh, he does. He so uh, all the uh, God wants us to know something mm -hmm. about this gift. Yeah. And, uh, and by the way, again, uh, to emphasize, Paul never attacks the people speaking. He never no, says, no. oh, that's not God, that's no, not no, right. No, he no, doesn't. No, he, he, no. he acknowledges that's fine, that's right. but he's showing them a better way. Right. He's showing them, look, this should be to the edification that's right. of the church. Yes. Pray that you might yes. interpret. Absolutely. But uh, why is all the conversation always, you know, when you talk about the gifts, it's always about the one. One particular What about yeah. these other yes. very important gifts? That's like right. The gifts of healing. Oh, my land, yes. like, Oh, the gifts we of need administration. That. Yes, What's absolutely. That? Yeah. And the... Um, uh, wonderful uh, gifts of knowledge and Absolutely. wisdom, and yes. that's the work of God in spirit. Equal. By the way, you know, I was thinking about this, Anthony, <clears throat> and, uh, as we were reading in the twelfth mm. chapter, and Paul talks about these gifts, mm. and also in the twelfth chapter of Romans, some of the things he's talking about, there is a basic, essential level of those things that is a part of the Christian condition certainly should be like oh, yeah. faith. Oh, absolutely. Well, he says absolutely. faith is uh, he sees yes. it as a, a gift. Yeah, as well. well yes. But right. not everyone would no, have that, that particular faith. So that's an extraordinary exactly. thing. Yeah, and, well, yeah. Uh, and without faith at some level you couldn't be a Christian at sure, all. You right. have to have faith in the gospel. But there's a special gift of faith. I, exactly. I'd have to meet people who could move mountains. Yeah, know, oh, I'm my, yes. Against yes, that. that's right. Well, um, sometimes I think uh, the Christians without uh, uh, mm. a unique healing, yes. then uh, sometimes feel like that they've done something right. wrong. And I, I don't yeah. think that's, no, no, uh, that's not a correct view of no, these no. things. Then they're sick and depressed, yeah. right? <laughs> I think we do need more people with more faith. Yes. And certainly. we do need perhaps certainly. people who would receive that's some right. of this, uh, at least give us a touch of this, Absolutely. Uh, yes. Gifts of healings, right. uh, this uh, yes. wonderful thing. Yes. That would be wonderful too, wouldn't it? Let's think about not yeah. just speaking in tongues, yeah, but exactly. how about that? Exactly. Yeah, let's work gifts on that a while. Whole. Charismata That's Yamato, right. and that fascinates right. Gifts, different sorts yes. of gifts of That's healing. Right. 
That's oh, right. I wish you were here, you know. Yeah, name that right. for me now. That's Put right. that into my context. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, so how would that work? It might mean different levels of healing or right. le healings right. of different yes. sorts, right. perhaps, uh, yes. in different issues. But uh, it, is it would be, uh, I think, uh, uh, as we've said before, and really technically we talk mm. about nine gifts. Paul never actually yes. numbers and no. says there, these are the nine no. gifts. No. But... Uh, but uh, uh, technically, yes. it's gifts of healings. Yes. Uh, talents, if you like. Right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, maybe talents. this comes in different ways. Yeah. I don't know that it's just simply miracles. It's not a synonym for miracles not because that's a different gift. That's right. Miracles are yes. quite a different. So exactly. maybe yes. there are gifts of healings yes. that would help folks. That's right. That are short of yes. extraordinary miracles, but still. I like that. Wisdom wow. and, and the blessing of God. So not to think there. about it. Yeah, it? well, it's nice to, yes. to consider that. But don't make the mistake that one denomination's got all the answers. Yes, you know, yes, well, these right. are the Orthodox people. They yes. know what they're doing. That's right. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. You pray hard and seek the right advice. Certainly. I think. And then open your mind sure. and ask God to guide you right. to, to the right sources yeah. of help. And, uh, and because there's not a remarkable uh, <coughs> right. uh, healing of right. a circumstance or a person, doesn't mean that person is, is wrong. I will say this, if we had that extraordinary faith, mm -hmm. maybe sometimes by that extraordinary yes. faith we could see extraordinary miracles. That would be wonderful. That's wonderful. But a person who doesn't experience that right. is not, shouldn't feel like, is well, God sinning. is against me, that's or I've right. done wrong. That's, or, very important. that's not true. Not it's right. something not true. Yeah. And as I told some folks one time, get well any way you can. Absolutely. Go to your doctor, go like to that. your person who uh, yes. and, and seek God see God and uh, yeah. yeah surely yes. but uh, and we know that God can certainly heal but uh, yeah this is uh, right uh, like I say not yes. all healings are miracles no, uh, no at, at least those oh, are no, distinct no. well the body gets issues. well in a miraculous way oh, certainly, yeah, yeah a lot of the time that's, that's right I'm thankful for that right okay. hope so uh, verse 9 so with yourselves if your tongue mm -hmm. If with your tongue you yeah. utter speech that is not intelligible, mm -hmm. how will anyone like know what is that? Well, Hello. Yeah. Paul is not yeah, a right. friend of unintelligibility. Right. The Hastings Bible. Yeah, I like that. Said. That's good. That's good. And uh, again, he's not attacking the person no, speaking. He's no. saying, you need to go further. Of course. If you're speaking in tongues and not understanding right. what's being said, then pray that you might receive this gift of interpretation. Of so now we will have come full circle. And we can hear what God is Surely. saying through you. That's, That's right. a blessing for all of us. Exactly. Right? Of course. Uh, and we're all benefited. Then. Yes, of course. That's very clear. Uh, so he says, it utter, uh, if with your tongue you utter speech that is not intelligible, how will anyone know what is said? For you will be Common speaking sense. into the air as of far as they're course. concerned. They, they don't know. You know, it That's doesn't... Absolutely uh, clear. Uh, we sometimes run into folks yeah. uh, in our natural lives yeah. that are speaking oh, some yeah. other language. Course, it course. doesn't benefit me Not much until I it can understand yeah. what, what they're saying. That's right. Verse 10, there are doubtless many different mm. languages in the mm, world. No question. Again, we're talking about languages, uh, and that's important. that's important. And none is without meaning. No. All of them have significance like or meaning. I mm -hmm. like that. Mm. Uh, verse 11, but if I do not know mm. the meaning of the language, mm. I will be a foreigner to the speaker. I guess that's what we're saying. Absolutely right. And the speaker, a foreigner to me. Yes. Uh, verse 12, so with yourselves, since mm. you are eager for mm. manifestations of the Spirit, mm. Mm. and he doesn't take them to task for that, he no, says, no. well, that's fine. He says, but strive to excel in upbuilding the church. The whole body yeah. of Christ. So you're eager for, for gifts, but realize they're not, these gifts have a wider significance for the for the exactly. congregation, for your brothers and exactly. sisters, and, That's and obviously that be the same. Keep that in mind in, yeah. in all that ha all that may happen. Yes. Verse thirteen. 13. Yeah. Key. Therefore, mm -hmm. one who speaks in a mm -hmm. tongue mm -hmm. should pray for the power to interpret. Mm -hmm. Wow. Clear. Isn't that brilliant? I like that. I found over the years that's a very telling verse. Surely. Absolutely. And, and, and inevitably gets lost. You That's know. right. There's all the discussion. All right. <laughs> that verse doesn't get the promise exactly. it deserves. Exactly. I guess if you did have a circumstance as they had in Acts, the second chapter, mm -hmm. the interpretation was not, not essential at that point it's because different. there were those there of understanding. Course. It's a different situation right. to yeah. that extent, but exactly. I think the language phenomenon sure. is the same. It's exactly. still speaking. It's still the same. It's still language. Exactly. That's right. right. 
I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he says, verse 14, mm -hmm. For if I pray in a tongue, my mm -hmm. spirit prays, mm -hmm. but my mind is unfruitful. Meaning I, that I'm not doing any good to anybody else. Yeah, that, right. That's the exactly. point. I mean, you might understand what yeah. you're saying yourself, possibly, yeah. but you're, you're not bearing any you, fruit. You may be benefited in, yes. say, in saying, well, you know, the Spirit of God right. is with me, right. and I'm speaking in tongues, and maybe you don't even understand right. what's being even said. That. There is a certain yes. level of saying, yes. well, I'm, I'm edified by yes. that. God that's right. has blessed me. But if it's not understood, that's right. then others won't benefit yeah, at all, effort. possibly. Okay. Uh, no, I think and that's the sense. Uh, you yourself will yes. not benefit as yes. much as you should. You're not bearing fruit for others. Exactly. Point, you're not benefiting yeah, anybody else. I think absolutely. that's the sense there. Yes. So he says uh, in verse uh, uh, 15, mm -hmm. What am I to do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will pray with my spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I will pray with my mind also. Intelligibly as I well. I love that. Yeah. Yes, I will sing praise with mm -hmm. my spirit. Mm -hmm. that, that's an interesting mm -hmm. thought. Absolutely. Uh, yes, beautiful. It is. But I will sing with my mind also. I love that. So uh, singing, I'll yes. put it that way. Even singing then. under the influence yes. of the spirit is something that would even be possible. Of course. But even then we'd like to know what's being Absolutely. said. Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Yes. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you give thanks with your spirit, mm. how can anyone in the position of yes. an outsider yes. say amen to right. your thanksgiving yes. when he does not know what you're they saying? They have no idea what you said. Wow. Well, That's wonderful. Uh, it's very clear, isn't it? I very think clear. When you get down to it. It came out like this in my translation. If you only pray, quote, in the spirit, right. how can ordinary people who do not have understanding say amen? Yes, yes. After your prayer of thanks, since they have no idea of what you said. <laughs> I like that. I like that. <laughs> Verse 17, for you may uh, be giving thanks well yeah. enough yes. in, yeah. in spirit, yeah. but the other person is not being yeah. built up. Not being helped yeah. at all. They might have some limited mm. sense of, well, mm. God is working with my brother or my sister. Not that's enough. nice, but not that's enough. not enough to, not <laughs> to carry the day. Here. We yes. need, God has something he's that's saying. Right. We need to know what it is. That's right. so. Verse 18. Yes. I thank God that I speak yeah. in tongues yeah. more than all of you. Right. 19. Nevertheless, in church, I would rather speak five words yes. with my mind yes. in order to instruct others yes. than 10,000 words in a tongue. Yes. So isn't that interesting? So Paul can do that mm -hmm. miraculously, not necessarily only mm -hmm. in the closet, mm -hmm. but in the church, I Absolutely. certainly want everybody to understand what's being said. So uh, yeah. uh, he himself is going to say, and I guess mm. we will say amen to Paul. He's yes. going to say a little later on. He says, uh, he says, do not forbid to speak in yes, tongues, exactly. but do do it in order. Do this thing uh, in the way that We're God it. would want of to be course, done. Well, yes. Isn't it interesting? This is the gift of tongues mm. and the gift of interpretation are each dependent on the other, and I'm not sure yeah. if there's any of the other gifts that are exactly woven no, together that way. No, one is a companion to the yeah. other. That's but yet right. God is the one who gave these gifts. Of course. He, you know, and it's a wonderful it was his thing, plan. right? Yeah. 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 Yes. I like that. And inevitably we've abused it, you know, that we're the scope for getting it wrong. Yes, yes. So yes. we tend to get it wrong. That's right. Uh, <laughs> we make an art form of getting it wrong. And we do, almost predictably. You know, <laughs> That's right. Give us an inch and we'll take a That's mile right. into confusion. <laughs> For you may be giving thanks well enough, but the other person yes. is not being yes. built up. Verse 18, go. I thank God That's that good. I speak in tongues yes. more than yes. all of you. Yes. Nevertheless, in church, yes. I would rather speak five words yes. with my mind in order yes. to instruct others than 10,000 words in mm -hmm. a tongue. That's the mind-bearing fruit, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Lovely. With my mind. Intelligible like speech that. is really ultimately better. I like that. Because it benefits yeah, absolutely. everybody. Absolutely. Yeah. Verse 20. And, and yeah. here he's talking about the will of God. It's, it's not, yeah. this is what God had to intend from the beginning. Otherwise, why would he have had a gift of tongues and gift of interpretation oh. if he didn't intend no, for no. them to work? They, they work together. Yeah, yeah surely. Yes. Yeah. yes, absolutely. So it's, it's the will of yeah. God. It's the yeah. wisdom of God. It, uh, and I think we, it is safe to assume mm. that... Uh, these gifts existed in other congregations and churches. Oh, I think so. so yeah. yes. But at Corinth, they yes. were having particular problems. Yes. And the yes. root of the problem yes. actually was the lack of care and love That's and right. wisdom, the yes. wisdom of God. So yes. uh, these poor folks at uh, Corinth, 
due to their confusion and lack of love and lack of wisdom, we actually got a lot of un understanding coming we to us, didn't yes. we? Because Paul yes. wrote. Interesting, don't get a mention anywhere else, isn't it? Yes, isn't it yeah. They weren't yeah. a problem. They were there, there but we don't know, but they, they didn't require exactly. chapters of explanation. Sure. Yeah. But, uh, sure. Very good. Wow. Verse 21, mm. in the law it is written by people of strange tongues yeah. and by the lips of foreigners mm -hmm. will I speak to this people. Interesting. And even then they will not listen to me, says the Interesting Lord. Interesting parallel, that would be the Assyrian language. That's a yes. quote from Isaiah telling us then that we're talking about real languages. Yes. In that case, I'll send a threatening enemy force yes. that you're not going to even right. understand. Yes. So there's a parallel there, yes. not exactly, not, but not some a, sort yes, of parallel right. pattern. Still something that could yes. help us to... Exactly, to, to get the picture. But real language, though. Bit. That's right. Not foreigners who, right. who are speaking babble. You know? Right. That wouldn't, that, uh, that wouldn't have fit. been no. anything much no, no. to anybody. No. But that's right. I think that's a very interesting reference there. Yes, I like that. Yes. Oh, Verse 22, mm -hmm. thus tongues mm -hmm. are a sign, mm -hmm. not for believers, mm -hmm. uh, they, they understand these things and they believe these things, yes. but for the unbelievers, mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. while prophecy is a sign, not for unbelievers, mm -hmm. but for believers. Ah, that's it's interesting. Like, yeah. It is a miraculous scene, yeah. Uh, yeah. a sign, I should say. Yeah. Speaking in languages is an absolute miracle. Yeah. Verse 23, if therefore the whole church comes together and all speak in tongues, mm -hmm and outsiders or unbelievers enter, will they not say that you are out of your minds? Of oh my goodness, yes. This isn't helping the outsider not, at all. <laughs> no, <laughs> That's right. not at all. Uh, but, uh, but if all prophesy yeah. and an unbeliever or outsider enters, he is convicted by all. He is called to account yes. by all. I like uh, that. And uh, verse 25, the secrets of his heart mm -hmm. are disclosed. Mm. So I think we have the Spirit of God working in, in unique ways Absolutely. here, impressing the person who's come in. Yes. Uh, and yet, uh, speaking in tongues, they're not going to get it. They're not going to get especially without interpretation. Right. Uh, I guess if we did have the speaking in tongues and an interpretation, yes. then that would be equivalent right. to prophecy, he says. Right. But, uh, but the outsider uh, is going to be benefited, unless there happen to be speaking in a language that they understood they uniquely, and that could happen, yeah. yeah. Right. 25, the yes. secrets of his mm. heart are disclosed, mm. and so, falling on his face, he will worship God mm. and declare that God is Truly really among, among you. Isn't that amazing? Very, very I love nice. that. I love this. It's, it's becoming clear, I think, yes. this morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, well, my language. Just reading this yeah. aloud is very helpful. Yeah. Yes. Verse 26, mm -hmm. What then, brothers, when you come together, each one has a mm. hymn, a mm. lesson, mm. a revelation, a tongue, or an mm. interpretation. Let all things be done for building up. Mm -hmm. If any speak in a tongue, let there be only two, or at the most yes. three. Yes. And each in turn, and let someone That's interpret. Right. Wow. Right. I like that. Yeah. So this is building on what he said before. Now he's yeah, just so giving yeah. us a picture of how Summer. this might work in the congregation. Uh, so hearing very well. Yeah, and this is nice. interpret. Yeah, yeah. Verse 28, but if there is no one to interpret, mm -hmm. no one has that mm -hmm. ability, mm -hmm. uh, let each of them keep silent mm -hmm. in the church mm -hmm. and then speak to himself and to God, yes. not in the congregation. That's right. But that's in the absence of surely. interpretation. Surely. That's not the that's ultimate right. ideal. Absolutely. That's, right. but that's the best you can do under those circumstances. Sure. That's sure. right. Good. Uh, so keep in mind, he doesn't say, if there's no interpreter, just go ahead and speak in tongues to the congregation anyway. That would be contrary to everything he's been Absolutely. saying. To. Verse 29, let two or three mm. prophets speak, mm -hmm. and the others, let the others weigh mm -hmm. what is said. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I, th I sometimes think of that as mm -hmm. you have a company of prophets. Mm -hmm. Maybe not all of them will speak, so to right. speak, but... Uh, someone speak, others will yes. judge. And that's not severe. It's just to say uh, uh, that uh, the prophets uh, also are subject to being weighed yes. and considered. Uh, right. Surely. Mm -hmm. Verse 30. If a revelation is made to another sitting there, let the first be silent. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. so uh, I think in some instances... Uh, a true prophet might, who whom God was using in the sense of an Agabus or someone, mm. might come in and tell the congregation mm. 
what God had said to them mm. previously. That yeah. was the Old Testament yeah. model, too, yeah. about the prophets. Yeah. A true prophet could come in and tell the congregation, this is what God told me. Mm -hmm. This is what he said. Now I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. But maybe if there's a revelation or yeah. an understanding, uh, he would hold the retelling and let us see what God is bringing mm -hmm. to the prophets uh, at that point. I think this happens, actually. We're not always, we're not always aware of it, but you'll find in, in our Sunday services, a study of a chapter of the Bible, let's say, mm. when it's open for discussion, people will produce verses that uh, speak yes. I hadn't thought of, which yes, yes. is exactly what uh, we need. Yes, to. yes. So who's to say the right. Spirit of God isn't directing and guiding? Certainly. Not Certainly. infallibly. Truly. But, and, uh, and I think what we have a lot of times is things at different levels. Absolutely, uh, yes. Not all are prophets, yes, no. as was Agabus, no, no, uh, who no. actually traveled and prophesied and spoke among exactly. the churches and was received yeah by the brothers in right. that special role. It's important. But point. not all are prophesying and at that level. No, we and must and make that distinction. Yeah. An Agabus type of predictive, infallible predictive yes. prophet is quite different from the more general sense of prophesying. Exactly. This is very important. Not everybody exactly. is able to do it's predictive. Prophesying. That's a special well, gift. And there you go again at, uh, at Romans 12, yes. where Paul says, uh, those who prophesy, let them prophesy according to the measure ah, of faith. faith of so not everyone yeah. is going to be prophesying yeah. at the level of no, no. Agabus. No, no, no. Some others, I'm sure, that were the able to do that. The predicted prophet is not yeah, in, as in that general great encourager. Uh, That's very important. But yet there may be others who, at a level of faith, uh, can sure. prophesy. This yes. is something that the yes. people, Paul wishes all would seek for that. Including right? the women. Yeah, let yes. them pray Absolutely. He doesn't make the distinction. Right. That's he right. doesn't say let them all be Agabuses or, or even no, Philip's certainly. daughters That's if right. they were literally predicted. They sure. may have been. Who knows exactly? We, we it doesn't matter. That's but right. Relax. Let That's the women right. play their part. Okay. So again in verse 27, mm. if any speak in a tongue or mm. language, let there be only two or at yes. most three, and each That's in turn, right. and let someone interpret. Yes. Verse 28, mm -hmm. but if there is no one to interpret, mm -hmm. let each of them keep silent in church and yes. speak to himself and to God. Yes. Verse 29, let two or three prophets mm -hmm. speak. Mm -hmm. uh, not everybody mm -hmm. uh, at one time or no. not at, on no. the same occasion. No. Let two or three prophets speak, and let the others weigh what yeah, is exactly. said. I like that. Evaluate. Verse 30, if a revelation is made mm -hmm. to another sitting mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. let the first be silent and yeah. give way to the other. So orderly, sensible. That's the point there. Yes. 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 Verse 31. Yes, you can all speak. Mm -hmm. For you can all prophesy mm -hmm. one by one, mm -hmm. uh, though not all at the same occasion. We That's think, right. uh, you know, uh, that would become awfully That's extended right. and divorced, right. and there wouldn't be time for that's the right. other things. That's that, right. Uh, so I think the interactive element is very important. Yes, yes. We we need to get beyond just the solid. Yes. The the one that's important to present yes. something. Yes, yes. But people learn better in a setting where Absolutely. there is interaction. Exactly. And fit this pattern. I think you're. I think you're exactly right about that. Yes. And uh, so. Uh, uh, all in order. And uh, so you can all prophesy, at least those right. who right. are prophets, exactly. those who have that ability. That, that you can all prophesy right. one by one, yeah. in order. So he says, uh, so that all may mm -hmm. learn and all mm -hmm. may be encouraged, mm -hmm. and the spirits of prophets are subject to prophets. Absolutely. For God is not a God of confusion, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. of peace. Um, I do like the old King James there. It mm -hmm. says quite beautifully. I think it captures some beautiful things sometimes. But uh, God is not the author of confusion. confusion. I like that. So. Yeah. As in all the churches of the saints, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the women should keep silent in the churches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for they are not permitted to speak, mm -hmm. but should be in submission, as the law also says. Verse 35. Mm -hmm. If there is anything they desire to learn, let them ask their husbands at home, mm -hmm. But it's shameful for a woman to speak in okay. church. This is the crunch issue here. Yeah, that's right. F.F. Bruce even suggests this could well be the question. Yes. It may be the question that's being asked rather than Paul's point. Mm -hmm. And some, somebody is saying, well, the women shouldn't speak because the law says they should shut up, you see? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. This is possible, I think, more likely because otherwise it seems to contradict what went earlier where the women are to prophesy and pray. Well, True. only at home, I don't think so. Yeah. Well, the gifts only given to the women, I don't think that's right. So. It's possible that this is their question 
To which then Paul answers in verse uh, 36, or 38 is it, 36, what? You must be kidding me. <laughs> the word of God, did it begin with you? Are you making the rules? Yes, yes, yes. I, I think that's quite possible. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, it, it's, so, it's so difficult Seems to harmonize. He, somehow yeah. he has a different frame of reference in yes, mind. He does, in, in some ways. Cases. How that and be? how that would work. This yes. would be another one of those things. It would be great to sit with Paul for about oh, five minutes. Oh, we do need that, right. And, uh, yes. And we could yes. we just really quickly get yes. to that. And, and, uh, There's some manuscript uh, differences here. If you look yeah. at the manuscript, some of the verses have been transposed here, suggesting again the possibility that this could be mm -hmm. the question they're asking him. And he reacts rather strongly, saying, you know, that we want the women to be able to pray and prophesy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's unfortunate in a way that language had not advanced to the point of having question marks. That's right. And as we said, right. quotation marks. That's right. Well, yes. So, uh, or at least you don't know whose question it was right. always. That's because right. there are other places yeah. in Corinthians where he does answer their question. You know, you, yes, okay, you asked me exactly. about adultery and, yeah. and so on, now let me tell yeah. you the answer. Absolutely. It's possible. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to be dogmatic here, but yeah. otherwise yeah. you were stuck with it. possibility. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, I mean, the women, yeah. I noticed as a teacher in the Bible college there for the years, the women were just as good mm -hmm. theologically. Mm -hmm. yes. Sometimes more conscientious, you know, mm, one mm. might dare to be sexist here <laughs> than, the, yes. than the men, but they certainly are not to be discounted. Yeah. At, well, at it, all. The, the problem I think in balance is mm -hmm. he has pictured the women as praying. Yes, we learned of that course. from the and prophesying. And prophesying. And prophesying. Which is speaking. That's very clear. Yes. Uh, and uh, he doesn't see it, he hasn't painted a picture in any of the 12th, 13th, or 14th. That's right chapter comments right. in which women are not involved in the spiritual yes. gifts and abilities. Yes. Uh, if they yes. can prophesy, then yes. certainly they are. Either yes. speaking in tongues or interpretation right. of tongues. He doesn't exclude the women. Mm -hmm. So the one in Timothy is probably then the idea of being in, mm -hmm. in charge. Mm -hmm. That raises the issue of women being ordained. And yes. I, I'm not sure that Paul burdened, I put it this yeah. way, that he burdened the women who do bear the children. Surely. And <laughs> have a great responsibility. He didn't necessarily burden them with where the responsibility, yeah. where the buck sure. stops, right? Absolutely. That would be a different thing. However, Absolutely. should they contribute to the conversation? I would think so. But it's very uh, important mm. uh, that we recognize mm. the contributions of women to Absolutely. the congregation, Absolutely. the people of the church. Surely. Uh, Perhaps Paul here is using the word speak in that more formal sense. Yeah, uh, and, uh, yeah, yeah, certainly in Timothy uh, that helps. Yeah, I think context. that maybe that would right. be the case. The word, the word. Uh, dominate, uh, uh, is yeah. I don't want the woman to dominate yeah. the, the scene, yeah. but to yeah. make her totally keep yeah. quiet and only speak yeah. to her husband right. at home. Yeah. It's, it's in flat contradiction, it would appear, with the rest of the yeah. chapter. That's the yeah. difficulty. Yeah. Uh, some have, have suggested that maybe there was conditions at Corinth that were unique. That's true. Maybe Whatever. that's true. Uh, there's that's right. things here we can't quite that's get right. the perspective right. on. Absolutely. But, but we do know this. Bottom line, mm. God uses women in spiritual gifts and abilities. Yes. Uh, he used them in spiritual gifts and abilities, I think, in the congregation. Certainly. Uh, so then we have to keep that in balance with, with these exactly. other, other matters, I think. So. Yeah. Yeah. And he summarizes in the last verse, I don't know if you read that one, make sure everything's done decently and in orderly yes. fashion. Yes. That, that summarizes well, doesn't it? So, yeah. in verse uh, 36 again, yes. he said, Or was it from yes. you that the word of God yes. came, or yes. are you the yeah, only ones it has reached? Yes. Yeah. Uh, verse 37, if anyone thinks that he is a prophet mm -hmm. or spiritual, yes. He should acknowledge that the things I am writing yes. you are a command of, of the Lord. Lord. Right. So you think you're spiritual, yes, and you think you're spiritual because you're speaking in tongues, yes. Great. Well, then you should acknowledge that what I'm saying about interpretation—that is God's wisdom He's regarding the this. Exactly. And uh, what I'm saying about prophecy and two or three at a time, and yes. so. If you if you say, "Oh, I'm a prophet," well, great. Then if you really are, you should acknowledge. Absolutely. That what I'm saying is true. Yes, he's the apostle. apostle. Yes, That's absolutely. Where it comes from. Yes. Absolutely. Uh, so um, mm -hmm. he says uh, you should recognize mm -hmm. that. This is pretty uh, an awful problem in a way, Anthony, that I've experienced with folks who who indicate that they do have spiritual gifts yeah. or abilities. Yeah. Well, fine, but you don't 
then use the fact that you have a spiritual gift or ability to say, therefore, I am approved of God Excellent. in a way no one else is, Excellent. and I'm not wrong about things, no. and you can't tell me. No. Well, that's not right here at all. Paul is directing these people who had spiritual gifts and abilities yeah. and expecting them to yeah. listen and to recognize Absolutely. they had yeah. things to learn and grow in. Yes. And so just the fact that someone speaks yes. in tongues does not yes. mean that they're right or correct in that's exactly all matters. Right. And yes. uh, that's, that's simply not so. And yes. that's not a sign of some form of absolute approval. No. No. Uh, elsewise, those yeah. who say they speak in tongues out here often are loggerheads on so many things. Exactly. If they're really spiritual, uh, then why are they at odds in these things? But above all, all things should yes. be done decently, appropriately, Wonderful. and in order according to God's wisdom, yes. not our wisdom, not the wisdom of man. Exactly. And, on that we can agree, right? Yes. And I'm reminded again yeah. about that the beginning of the third chapter where Paul says yeah. to these same people, yeah. I can't speak to you as unto spiritual, yeah, indeed. but as to God. just Kids. fleshly people uh, and babies, you know, just right. babies. And he, so uh, I think sometimes people think, oh, I have a spiritual gift or ability, therefore I am mature. This was a church, as we, I was saying earlier, that by the record, they spoke in tongues more than any church we know about. It was right. more an issue. Right. And yet Paul tells yeah. the, all those people speaking in tongues, you're not even spiritual. I can't talk right. to you as though you were spiritual. That's interesting. Isn't That's it? right. And he, yeah. he doesn't challenge yeah. the speaking in tongues no. itself, but yeah. he says, look, you can't even worship together. You can't even come together and, and eat together. Wow. Uh, you have divisions wow. among you. Isn't that carnal and fleshly? And no amount of speaking in tongues overcomes that lack of love and of wisdom course. of God. Yes, yes. No, I think it will make some sense there. I think with that end of that chapter, we sigh a sigh of relief in a way. I mean, this has been not heavy going exactly, no. but it's a massive subject. Yeah. Now we're going to change tune entirely in the yeah. 15th chapter into yeah. something else. And, and he's going to go at that wonderfully, isn't he? He's yes. beautifully. beautifully. The wisdom of God in 14, though. Oh, yes. As, as oh, yes. Said, I think that, I think that so. theme right. of wisdom from the very Absolutely. beginning of this oh, entire yes. writing of yes. 1 Corinthians. Yes. He's carried it all yes. the way through. And, I, and you see that here. Absolutely. It's not personal no. aggrandizement, no. self-aggrandizement, but the building of all the people. This is the wisdom of God. This was the plan of God. Mm -hmm. That's why he really gives these abilities and gifts to people. You know, one thing uh, we were talking about uh, that uh, we cannot scripturally present the thought rightly, mm -hmm. I think, mm -hmm. that all gifts <clears throat> ceased at the no. conclusion no. of the writing of the scriptures. No. But one reason, there may be more than one reason, mm -hmm. that we may not see things operating at yeah. the level that right. they were. One might be that, as you say, when you're you're celebrating the yes. the, the announcement, Opening. the beginning of something, you make a special yes. appeal Why and not? a special uh, uh, celebration, right, as it were. Right. To some extent, that may be true. Yes. But I, I also see this. Yes. After the completion of the canon, mm -hmm. the world and the religious world and Christianity fell deeper and deeper yes. into confusion Certainly. and darkness. In second century. And I think many times why would we think if we have mm -hmm. plunged into mm -hmm. so much confusion mm -hmm. and darkness mm -hmm. that God would just work operationally wonderfully uh, irregardless of all that. Good Maybe point. God some of these things they were for signs, they were for benefits to people and Absolutely. Uh, but perhaps as we come closer to the coming yes. Messiah, uh, yes. and the the Word of God yes. comes more into focus, and exactly. if we can regain that one true God and the truth exactly. of the Messiah, yes. these things that are so important, mm -hmm. then perhaps God could work or would see fit to work more in time to That's come. Entirely uh, possible, and uh, right. what we've been able to see, at especially this time. with as people pointed out rightly, the Antichrist is opposed by somebody with with oh, gifts. Good see, point. Two witnesses. Exactly. There's yes. our apostolic gifts yes. quite clearly. I don't think we have them yet. We're not in that seventieth right. period at that level. Uh, at that years. point, yeah. 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 But when it comes, who knows? Oh, that's right. Because when you've got the Antichrist yeah. doing these extraordinary signs and miracles, yeah. then you have to answer that right. with Indeed. the true miracle. Indeed. That can happen. And, uh, and in the meantime, uh, let uh, uh, 
let us abide by the scriptures yeah. and honor and yes, respect and love and as I say, give the benefit of doubt sometimes Absolutely. to yes. our, our brothers. Right, while well, being cautious too. It's, sure. it's a very Absolutely. fine balance. It is, it's a balance. It's not it's exactly. Balance.